I ran four years of numbers of the kilowatt hour offset of doing do-it-yourself partial off-grid home solar. So if you want to fast forward to the end of this video, uh, I've got all the Outback Power data numbers and it's really, really interesting. You should take a look at it. So today, after months of just not dinking around, you know, just kind of neglecting them really, decided I'd go grab some distilled water and check everything out. Right now I've got eight in system and four that are completely dead. Lead weights over there on that little card I made. But uh, so what I did is I took a good look inside these cells. The caps look really good. And I've got about two batteries. That one, that one, and that one, which really didn't use much distilled water over a couple of months of, you know, just kind of not dinking around with around with them but I want to show you my charging parameters okay take a look at here here's the volts I run this up and absorb to 32.2 it's a 24 volt system for about an hour it is obvious I need to do a no kidding equalization charge see right there for an hour all right this is off the Outback Power Mate 3 HBX mode as you can see 25 volts for about an hour is when I connect back to the grid. It's when the battery bank gets down to 25 volts. And then I disconnect from the grid when it reaches 26.6 .6 for about a half an hour. And it seems to be working good. And I have these parameters all skewed up and jacked up for maximum battery use for a couple of years. And amongst other things that went wrong with this DIY home power system, <laughs> just not going to get into the details. You probably know most of it anyway. This works great. Air inlet, outlet, fans sucking in there, blowing on them. Circuit breakers, non-polarized, works absolutely great. USB powered. You know, my system is running, <laughs> but the way it works is when the sun is up, I'm charging and using power, and then when the sun goes down, I'm not doing anything. I can't pull anything off those batteries. So I got this system in 2015, Outback Power started collecting data. 2016, right here, was essentially my best year. Didn't use much grid power at all. See? 2017, not about the same, you know, 65% offset. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Then this is when I started having problems with the batteries. Fifty-one percent offset, Yeesh. and then 2019. This is where I'm sitting right now. Wonderful, isn't it? You know, I always say metrics and numbers don't lie, and I am not going to bash a battery company on my YouTube channel. But it's also obvious that you know when you have good batteries, things work a heck of a lot better. So, here are some links to some other videos I have on my do-it-yourself home solar power system, and have a good day.